how malachite forms. By popular demand, we're doing the beautiful copper-based mineral malachite. So I'm going to break down exactly how malachite forms in five easy, manageable, beginner-friendly steps. Ready? Copper deposits, water and carbon dioxide, reaction with carbonate minerals, formation of malachite, and then growth and aggregation. Unsurprisingly, malachite's genesis is going to begin in environments very rich in copper. These are going to include things like, of course, copper mines, or just generally regions where copper-bearing rocks undergo weathering and erosion. Over time, these geological processes are going to expose copper minerals, laying the essential groundwork for malachite's formation. When rainwater seeps through the soil and rocks, it absorbs carbon dioxide from the air, becoming slightly acidic. Now, it's this slightly acidic water that comes into contact with copper minerals, dissolving them and creating a solution filled with tiny electrically charged particles that we call ions. Now, I'm not going to just assume that you know what an ion is, so for the purpose of you actually understanding this, let's flesh that out. Now, imagine atoms as tiny building blocks of all matter. Sometimes atoms gain or lose electrons, turning into ions. These ions have an electric charge, either positive or negative, which makes them behave differently than neutral atoms. In this case, the copper atoms lose electrons, becoming positively charged, while other elements in the mix might gain electrons, becoming negatively charged. This charged state allows them to interact with other substances in very unique ways, like how the copper ions mingle with water and carbon dioxide to kickstart the formation of malachite. It's in the presence of this copper-rich solution that carbonate minerals like calcite, which is a calcium carbonate, or limestone, which is a calcium-magnesium carbonate, play a crucial role. The copper ions in the solution react with carbonate ions from these minerals, leading to the underlying formation of a new compound known as copper carbonate. Under very specific geological conditions, such as variations in temperature, pressure, and the presence of other chemical constituents, the copper carbonate undergoes further transformations. These changes prompt the rearrangement of the atoms, culminating in the crystallization of malachite. At this stage, malachite crystals are actually going to begin to take shape, adopting their very characteristic green hue and intricate patterns that they're so famous for. Over extremely protracted periods of time, this newly formed malachite crystal is going to continue to grow and aggregate gradually, building up the very distinctive layers and structures that define malachite specimens. This process may occur over thousands or even millions of years, resulting in the breathtaking formations that are so cherished by mineral enthusiasts and collectors like you and myself. In essence, malachite's genesis and then journey from copper-rich environments to its crystalline beauty encompass a series of intricate interactions and transformations, offering a glimpse into the inspiring forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. OK, let's break down all five sections into something more manageable to make this easier to remember, because I fully appreciate that was a lot to take on board all at once. So, stage one, malachite begins in places abundant with copper, like mines or areas where copper-rich rocks erode over time. Stage two, rainwater absorbs carbon dioxide, turning slightly acidic, and then mixes with copper minerals, creating a solution filled with charged particles called ions. Stage 3. Copper ions in the solution react with carbonate ions from minerals like calcite or limestone, forming a new compound called copper carbonate. Stage 4. Under specific geological conditions, the copper carbonate undergoes transformations, rearranging its atoms into the crystal structure known as malachite. Stage 5. Over time, malachite crystals grow and cluster together, forming the very beautiful green patterns and textures characteristic of malachite specimens. Let me know in the comments the kind of crystals, minerals and precious metals you would like us to cover next.